another adventure awaits. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I'm back with another knitting episode for you to catch you up on my bubble cardigan by Stephen West. Believe it or not, while I am still on Sleeve Island, I've made quite a bit of progress, which I'm excited to share with you. Um, and then I've also got some patterns kicking around in my brain that I'm planning on casting on next. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the interwebs. If you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe down below. I put out two videos, it seems. It seems like like I'm putting out two videos a week now <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. And without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty of the episode. But first, let's see if YouTube would like to show us a commercial. And welcome back. All right, let's 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 talk about Sleeve Island, shall we? Uh, living, <laughs> first of all, my, my, my bubble cardigan has since graduated to a new home in my Hohi & Co <laughs> project bag, you guys. I love this bag so much and um, dare I say it has become more than just a project bag. I've just been taking it everywhere with me because look at it, it just, it holds so much. I'm not sure if this was a limited edition on her website. I notice Hohe keeps coming out with new designs and new types of fabric and materials. Um, so I haven't seen this on her website as of late, but um, just know that she keeps coming out with new designs and uh, you know, different, different types of materials for her bags, uh, but they are just just so well made, such great quality, and I've also got some enamel pin swag on here already, and oh yeah, it just makes me so happy. I digress. Anyway, this is where my bubble cardigan is currently residing. Um, so let's let's talk about it, shall we? We have a sleeve. Well, I'm almost done with the first sleeve. I've, I've, I'm done knitting the body of the sleeve, if that makes any sense, and I'm now commencing with the ribbing, with the cuff, and, and I will have one sleeve complete. And I'm hoping to have that done by by tomorrow, which is Friday, which is probably when you're watching this. So yay, this is going a lot faster than I anticipated and very, very pleased with that because yeah, if, if I mean, it makes sense because you're starting off when you're picking up and knitting in the round and around, it's a lot to knit around, but as you're going, you're decreasing, making your rounds a lot shorter. I mean, it's it's not rocket science. Um, so yeah, when I got to about here, it was just, you know, it just might, pace just got a lot quicker. So anyway, very pleased to almost be done with this, with this sleeve. And then I get to go and do it all over again. So anyway, I love, I love little surprises like that. Is that even a surprise? One thing that I wish that I had done differently though, when uh, picking up the stitches around the armholes and, you know, starting the sleeve is I wish that I used Grimm instead of I am no bird. I don't know if you can see, it would have just created a really nice contrast. Um, at the beginning of the sleeve. And the directions do instruct you to cast on or pick up and start knitting the sleeve with the contrasting color, um, meaning the ribbing color. And in my mind, I saw this as the main color and I'm sure how, and I'm sure you can see how I thought that. Um, so when I read, you know, pick up in it with a contrasting color, I immediately questioned that. I'm like, hmm, all right. And this is what happens. Sometimes I just go with the directions. I don't want to kind of think outside the box. Well, I'm all about thinking outside of the box. Sometimes my brain is just like, I just want to follow directions and go, which is pretty much my um, mental state when working on this pattern in particular, I guess. Um, so I just went with, <laughs> I am no bird. I took that as the first contrasting. So I just went with the first contrasting color after the main color in my mind, which was, I am no bird. I mean, you can obviously see that the stripes are running in different directions, but there's no like hard line that tells you this is where the sleeve starts. Here's where the body starts. But you know what? It's not going to bother me. I'm just thinking if I could do it over again, that's how I would do it. I would pick up and knit all the stitches in the round using Grimm instead of I am no bird, just to create that bit of contrast there, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that is where I am with the bubble cardi. Yeah, I feel like it's been forever and a day since I cast this on. I think we're coming up on two months now. Am I, am I correct in thinking that? No, it can't. I think it's been a month. Oh goodness. Anyway, but yes, this pattern is taking quite some time to finish, which is why I've kind of been itching to cast on something else. I know that I have just finished knitting a hat, um, which is the Prairie Lace hat by Leslie Ann Robinson. Um, thank you so much to everybody for all your lovely comments uh, regarding this hat. I love it and cannot wait. 
Uh, this is a bad idea. Too soon for mohair, too soon for mohair, but I cannot wait for the weather to get cooler so I can enjoy it and wear it. But yeah, so I just finished that. That was a nice little palette cleanser. I finished it and knit on this some more and now, and now I just, I really <laughs> want to cast, I'm really resisting the urge to cast something else on. And thank you so much to everyone who put in your two cents about whether I should just cast something on uh, just to kind of switch back and forth between this um, or just stick with it, finish it and get it off the needles. And yeah, I mean, it pretty much was 50-50. A lot of you just said, you know, Kristen, go for it. Cast on with abandon. And while that is very, very tempting, believe me, in any other situation, <laughs> I would just be like, yes, you know what, to hell with it. I'm going to cast on something else and just, and just knit all the things. But because this thing is so huge and big and just ready to be done with it. I, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with it guys. I am going to power through. I'm going to finish it before casting on anything else. I think, <laughs> but one lovely viewer, I'm so sorry. I'm blanking on who you are. If I remember, I'll pop it in the down bar, but she did mention, you know, finish one sleeve and then cast something on. So it's kind of like, you know, the best of both worlds. Like you're almost there, but not quite, but you're there enough to justify casting on another project and still have momentum to finish this. So I like, I like the way you think. And that's, that might be, that might be where I'm headed, which is what I'll talk about in the next segment when I talk about projects that I want to cast on. But um, yeah, so I've, I've just decided for the most part to power through on this, get through the sleeves so I can get onto the ribbed collar. That is also going to take a day and a time and a century to get through, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, guys. Because I know there are many of you who want to see the steaking process. So yeah, that too is incentive for me to get through this sweater, this cardigan, and, and demonstrate how steaking is done because I wanna get there too. Believe me, believe me, I do. So that was a lot of jibber jabber right there. But anyway, uh, yeah, thinking out loud, creative process of Kristen. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me. Anything else that I wanna say about this pattern? I'm sure you're all aware <laughs> of what yarn that I'm using. I won't put you through that again, but if you are new here, um, I will link down to my Ravelry project page for this so you can see all the details and get all the info um, along with everything else that I mentioned in this episode. But yes, speaking about new cast-ons, as I mentioned last week, I do want to cast on the Koru pullover next. It's a beautiful pattern by Anna Johanna. And yeah, that is definitely hopping on my needles immediately once the bubble cardigan is done. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous yarn by Shibui Knits in their pebble base. Um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful fingering weight, uh, tweedy slate gray. The colorway is called, it is as the name suggests, just this beautiful bluish slate gray, which makes my heart sing on so many levels. Um, but yes, it also has 48% recycled silk, 36% fine merino and 16% cashmere cannot wait to get this on my needles, on my person. Anyway, another adventure awaits. So there is that. And the next pattern that I am thinking about casting on, uh, this, this would be a very, very cheeky cast on. Even though I say that I'm gonna focus on powering through the bubble cardigan, this might be something that I just kind of squeak in, you know, under the radar. <laughs> Not that it will be under the radar because trust me, you guys will, will know when I cast this on, but this will be using leftover scrap yarn from my Prairie Lace hat. All three of these colors to knit, <laughs> are you ready for this? <sighs> a Marled Magic Shawl by Stephen West. I know. Clearly, clearly I am on a Stephen West kick. Um, there's just no escaping it. I'm just riding the, the Stephen West wavelength. If I do decide to cast this on, this will be my third attempt casting on that pattern. Um, I've had two past failures to launch with that pattern. And I think this all, this all just comes back to me having analysis paralysis when it comes to choosing colorway combinations. I mean, if there's three colorways involved, fine. If there's more than three, particularly fades that I'm just not into, I don't know. I just can't describe it. But if it's a scrappy yarn using shades like this, um, you know, I know I'm going to have some yarn left over from my bubble cardigan, maybe, perhaps, I don't know, we'll see, but um, I may add that into the pile of colorways that I used to knit the Marled Magic. Anyway, I've been thinking about casting it on for the past week, so it's kind of stuck in my mind. I'm kind of set on casting it on, <laughs> so I may as well just cast it on. I mean, right? That it just make it just makes sense at this point. Um, and I know a lot of you are sitting at home just yelling at your screens saying, Kristen, for the love of God, just cast it on. Just cast on a Marled Magic 
just do it. So that, my friends, I believe is what I'm going to do. And fret not, when I do cast on, I will vlog about it because I know how much you guys enjoyed that last cast on with me vlog. So I'm, I'm very, very happy to do another one of those for you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's been marinating in my brain as far as cast ons are concerned. And that's all the creative content that I have to share with you this week. Uh, yeah, short episode, but uh, I do, I did want to catch you up on where I was with Sleeve Island and let you know what I'm thinking about casting on and, and all that good stuff. But uh, as for Blather, I'm trying to think if there's any life updates that I want to catch you up on as well. Um, yeah, everything is still pretty status quo. I'm so happy that the weather is starting to cool down and, and sweater weather is <laughs> coming upon us very soon. Um, many of you have been asking me about Rhinebeck. Uh, Rhinebeck thankfully, I'm so happy to hear, is back on. Although I heard it's coming back in sort of a hybrid form. I heard a lot of the classes are happening online, but uh, the marketplace will be back. So anyway, very, very excited for that. I do not know if I will be attending, uh, only because, as I mentioned last week, Dennis and I, my husband, um, we've been, we're, we're still house hunting. So, you know, we have no idea what our schedule is gonna look like in the coming month. months. Our schedule is still very much up in the air, but I will definitely keep you posted and let you know as soon as I know if I will be going or not. I would love to go, that's for sure, but um, yeah, there's just no way to tell right now. But if you're attending, I'm so looking forward to seeing all of your Rhinebeck sweaters pop up on my feed, the works in progress. I know a lot of you are working very, very hard on them. So um, yeah, I'm, I always look forward to seeing the Rhinebeck sweaters. It's all very, very exciting. So uh, yeah, I will just, I will keep you posted at when I do know for sure. I am gonna end things there. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until the next video, have an amazing day, have an amazing week, Weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.